Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel, Forever Here. I hope that you are all doing well. I think I watched this, you know, but that's not why we're here. Because in reminding myself and re-watching this, I actually found a performance, same setting, same day, same everything, outfits, of them performing Mana, and I am intrigued, I tell you. But yeah, first, I do want to refresh my memory on this. This is the so it's nice and bright and colourful and playful. Because, you know, in our place, there are so many stories. It's true to me, it's true to me. It's true to you too. Yes, there are so many things that are not good. Do you know who it is? Aling Minerva. Yan talaga si Aling Minerva. Ang dami-dami sa sasabi. Gusto niya malaman? Dapat kayo. Ito kasi yung sabi niya sa akin. Me not paying any attention to what Stella is saying and looking at the prices at the back to see if they're accurate. Sabi nila, di ko raw kaya. Lang mapapalawan. I don't know if I watched this. I think I did. Sabi nila, di ko raw kaya. Pero salamat sa lahat ng naniwala. Naniwala, nawala. Lahat ang pangambahan. Nagsimula, magmula nung mga. I'm really angry. How dare anybody make me love them so much? I just love them so much. I really, really love the choreography for this. <laughs> Pablo, put your fingers away. <laughs> Sorry, I love how playful they're being. Pablo is naughty today. It's just so cute. <laughs> Signature shoulders. It's got a little pink nose. So handsome. <laughs> <laughs> With the wonderful flying angles, we're really getting a look into Ken's wonderful aeroplane arms. <laughs> Or windmill. Or helicopter. Oh, that was filthy. Don't break me today. But I think he just did. I need to clean my eyes. Necessary. He's so thankful that he is uh, going for it. I'm 
main event. I can't believe this. No, it's Ken. Wake up the beast. Dead. How on earth are they going to do the choreography in these outfits? That kind of like Teal. I don't really know what colour that is, but it really suits Stella. So that's how they're going to do the choreography in these outfits. <laughs> I love the footwork in that section. There's all sorts of like heel toe, heel toe. They have to be so light. Is baby girl Justin. Oh, yes, he did the floor bit. Here we go. We've been seeing a very different version of this on the Pugtatag World Tour. Oh! That was so clear. I think that's the clearest I've ever seen that piece of choreography. I think they should re-record the song and have the extended section here where they just sway from side to side I'm sorry Stan, I spoke over you They can literally perform anywhere, wearing anything, under any circumstances, anything could go wrong and they would still be this amazing. It's really frightening. That is what you call beasts. To be honest, I'm willing to be attacked by the Mananangal if this is what it looks like. Josh looks straight out of the 60s. Don't worry, I'm not going anywhere. I actually turned out, like, obviously this says part one, the other one said part four. There are two other performances. They performed Bazinga, and I didn't look at what the other one was. But I'm going to watch them with you. Stay right there.
I'm really sorry that this is all out of sync, but I wasn't expecting it. Yeah. Goofy, Ken, Kenny, baby. Just look at how pure and handsome he looks. And he's been wrecking me all week. This is my child, Ken. Pablo, thank you for this song. It's so gorgeous. They should go around and play games. <laughs> I'm hoping this is going to have the wrap in it. <laughs> what are you doing, pal? Giggles are making this. We get to see them going into their formations. Because Del has such beautiful hands, whenever he does any sort of hand choreography, <laughs> should I finish my sentence? It looks so good. Turn up the heat and I'll burn out till I die out. 
It's really weird that this setting is allowing me to see the choreography like crisp. <laughs> Ken is dancing so full out. Pablo does love a body roll, you know. Love it. Look at you, look at you. Look at you, look at you. Yeah, look at you like a boat, pick a boat, boat. I'm a beach, you have an event that the dark cold for one, two, one, two, lucky because they ever did it. Has to say that. Seriously, I've seen parts of this character that I've never seen before. Did you see that Kenzel moment? It was the cutest ever. Look at Ken trying to punch Stel. Huh? <laughs> Get in my pocket right now. <laughs> And this is why this man has ended me because just moments ago he was fake play fighting with Stell and being really goofy and utterly, utterly adorable. And now all of a sudden he's a beast. What? <laughs> Duality. <laughs> Ten. <laughs> You're gonna hate me, but that was the best Bazinga performance I have ever seen. Their energy, their playfulness, and whenever I feel like the choreography is a little bit empty, I didn't feel that at all. The camera work was really great, and this setting, those costumes, as wild as they are, actually allowed me to see the choreography and parts of the choreography that I swear to you, I have never even seen. 350 plus videos for SB19, and I have never noticed some of those pieces before, and I love this. Now, the other day I was trying to check how long ago uh, whether I'd reached that one year of discovering SB19 and I have and I missed it. I was trying to put together something special and I wasn't able to and actually I only sat down here to like refresh my memory on that SLMT performance and then watch Mana but as I've gone through this and as I've gone through this week in particular I just want to say to you that I have been an 18 for one year. Okay, it was the 4th of January 2023 when I first laid my eyes and my ears on SB19. And in all honesty, I didn't realize until months after because of various reasons, but I was an 18 from that very first moment. It, I just had to realize it. And I want to celebrate that with you. And this is my topsy turvy, unexpected gift to you. I just want to say I have had an amazing year because of SB19 and because of you, 18. You have allowed me to fangirl in a way that I 
never even knew was possible. I have had fun like I didn't even know I could. And I just go back to those moments of when I wanted to stop doing this, when I wanted to give up, when all those moments where I thought I wasn't good enough, what am I even doing? Who would even want to watch my videos? And I just want to be like, I'm so glad that I kept going because the level of freedom and fun and pure bliss that I am feeling right now in this moment, I want to bottle up because in the future, when life takes me in all sorts of different directions, if I ever stop doing this, I want to look back at it and be like, this is why I was doing it, to have this much fun, to make friends with people like yourselves, to discover talent like this, to love endlessly like this. I have enjoyed this so much and it feels like I'm saying goodbye and I'm not. Um, but I just wanted to say happy one year 18 and I am just so grateful to be along on this journey and thank you for finding me. You found me. And because of that, I was able to find them. I was able to make real life friendships and relationships. And I am forever indebted to you for that. I love SB19. I love 18. I mean, if I'm a fan of SB19, I'm also a fan of 18. I think 18 needs to have its own fan club and I will be its first member. We need to name that fan club. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching this with me and for putting up with me for the past year. It has been so much fun. And here's to many, many more years. And here's to breaking that 500th video. Because when we get to that point, let's really celebrate. Thank you so much for watching this with me. I hope that you had fun. And until I see you next time, take care. Stay safe. Bye. I love you.